So go ahead and call the police so we can report right back. I have a Go ahead and call Call the cops yourself. Go ahead and You know, one thing I think we all crave most when watching these Karen videos, aside from the Karen reaction itself, is to get some context on why the interaction was caused in the first place. We also would love to know the outcome of the video, which we are rarely given this information, and just go on with our lives from there. Well, not this time, buddy. GB's got you. Welcome back to the channel. This is GB Speaks Facts, and today I'm here to speak some facts. And the fact of the day is, we have ourselves some Karen freakouts. But not only that, guys. We have responses from the victims who are smart enough to record this on their phone. Yep, they caught a wild species that is Karen, and we're going to get into the video now. But just before that, as always, subscribe to the channel, guys. Show some love. I'm trying to get to that 1K, and I want it that way like BK. Join the Karen hunting brigade. And like the video too as well, let's just spread the word that Karen stink. And enough of this rambling. Let's just get right into the video. This lady causes absolute havoc in a grocery store, lashing out physically and verbally at the staff after her EBT card fails to pay the entirety of her balance for her groceries. Uh, that's apparently everyone else's fault. Uh, she didn't hurt anyone, nobody got injured during this, but she does physically lash out at them, which is obviously completely inappropriate. We'll hear from the woman who recorded this video right after this. Get behind me. Get behind me. It's okay. Get back over by the register. Oh, now, yeah. Oh, putting it. That's okay. I got this. Okay, I got it on video, I got it on video, okay? <laughs> I paid for that shit! That was like $50! Yeah. You're gonna get your back. You just wait. You back over there. They took a lot of money from us. <laughs> you back, uh-uh. You hit me, dude. I don't want to punch you. You hit me. Mm -hmm. No. They took a hundred dollars from us. Go hit me, Lee. And Walt Reed's mind. You went like it. Go. You went like it. I got the bag. Thank you. But wait. This more. As promised, the lady who videotaped this freak out made a follow up and gave us a little bit more context on the situation. So let's take a look. All right, I'm gonna give you the basic rundown of what happened. And I talked to the cashier. Basically, she had her mom's EBT card. There was not enough money on the card. She got upset, kept arguing there was. She put in some money to start paying for the stuff that the EBT card didn't pay for. She got to six dollars. She was yelling. She was cussing. They said, just forget it. You know what? You're not buying any of your groceries here. You can go void the order. Six dollars given back. Anything that was from the card will go back on the card. And that's when she was still trying to say she paid for the groceries. And then the rest happened. Yes, the police did come. No, the assistant manager did not press charges. No, I did not press charges either because I believe in karma. And that will get it her in its own way. And for all those concerned, my son is just fine. So this bonkers woman comes up and is pounding on the door. Her first... Uh, interaction where she comes up is much calmer but still very you can see the anger just boiling up inside of her the passive aggression uh but then she comes up a second time and is much much worse hello hey um just have a really nice question to ask you guys i'm downstairs with my neighbor we're trying to visit 
All morning long, all we're hearing is... Can you keep it quiet? Yeah, please. Thank you. If you want us to call the cops and report you for noise ordinance, because this goes on 24-7. I have a toddler. You can call the police all you like, because you guys stay on my field all the time. So go ahead and call the police so we can report it right back. I have a toddler. Go right ahead. Call the cops yourself. Go right ahead. We have the right to live in a peaceful community, and you're here banging around 24-7. You have kids who live there. If you don't like it, buy a house. Go live in an apartment downstairs. First off, to be fair, I, I've lived in the building and townhouses and whatnot, and those random thumps are one of the most annoying things you can possibly hear. You're going to be ending up checking if there's like an intruder in your home or something like 30 times a day. But when living in a building or townhouse, there is certain things that you should know comes with choosing this type of housing. Just like the lady said, get a house then. Or just shut up in my opinion. Like, you don't even live in the home under her. How often are you over there for this sound to be pissing you off? Like, do you not like your own house? You know this lady's probably got like 30 cats in her home. She's giving off that type of energy. And she just needed a day off. The moment I saw this, I knew it was GG's. This is the textbook Patton Patty. She's screaming that BBQ Betty energy. And these were kids. Why are you even interacting with them? Here we are trying to find reasoning in a Karen's actions when she's being a Karen. It is my fault. A silly move on my part. But wait. There's more. Once again, we got ourselves a follow-up video with some context on these freakouts. And I think everyone here is actually going to love the results of this one. So just stay tuned. Let's take a look. All right, y'all. So this is how Karen, this Karen is. She does not live downstairs. She, if you catch in the first clip, she says, I'm visiting my neighbor downstairs. So she lives here somewhere in the complex, but she's not the one who lives directly below us. Um, so anyway, I left work, I came straight home, um, went to the office, cause obviously all the commotion had died down by the time I got there. Uh, I let them know, like, you know, my kids were probably being loud and she came up and asked them to be quiet, which is no problem. Um, my issue was the kids shouldn't be opening the door. Um, and also I'm very big on don't talk to my kids, talk to me. So the minute she knocked on the door, these kids opened the door, you seen it was just kids in there and then you should have just left. Um, but let them know you look, she came at the door, she asked them to be quiet. They said they will. And then she came back a second time unprovoked, which you could see. And that's when she was being aggressive. I think that she realized that it was just kids there so she could talk to them however and do and say whatever. So she did. Um, so that was me talking to her through our ring camera. Hold on. And so um, I forwarded the video of her doing that to the apartment manager. They had me file a complaint and write a statement. Um, they also had me call the police and file a police report. So all of that has been done. And I have follow up at the office this Wednesday at five. And if I have a better update for you guys, I'll share. Um, also, while I was in the office, I actually did hear the manager have a conversation with that lady on the phone. Um, I could only hear bits and pieces because she went to another room, but she said to her, um, or the part I heard, all she said was, you don't get to go around banging on my tenant's doors, especially kicking the doors. And by the time I had came back from being in the office, I was probably in there for about 15 minutes. They had already put a notice on her door. So they're not playing no games either. She was evicted. She was evicted for her actions, guys. Whoever this landlord is, they are God sent. This is how you show you care for your tenants and for the people's well-being. I'm just trying to wonder right now. I'm honestly thinking, where are those 30 cats going to go? The woman recording this video only manages to catch the very end of what was a much larger confrontation between these two. Uh, apparently she called this woman a Karen. She came out and tried to get her out of the car and fight her. She'll give us the full backstory after this is over. I'm literally 16. 
I'm 16. I'm 16. Do you want to go to jail? Do you want to go to jail? I am 16 years old. 16 years old. Sixteen, right there. Embarrassing. Embarrassing. Okay, so to be fair, as of now, we don't have much to go on, but this is a child. She says she was 16. The moment you hear this, you walk away. But no, this behemoth threatens a child for reasons we'll find out, but I can tell you there's no justification for what she just did. But wait. This more. As promised, we got ourselves to follow up. Uh, the girl did make a TikTok about the situation. And she's going to give us a bit more context. So let's just jump right into it. I'm going to do story time because I know for a fact I wasn't the one in the wrong. So I'm just going to clear this up real fast. Me and my best friend were at a Mexican restaurant. We eat out all the time. And it was lunch rush. And we were checking out. And there was like, I'd say at least like six people trying to check out. And so we're finally like the second one in line. There's a peep, two girls in front of us. They're in their 50s. They're doing paying stuff. And like one of the girls' cards aren't working. The worker swipes the card like at least 10 times. After a couple times, her body language gets a little bit aggravated that, or agitated. That's the only thing about her that gets agitated. She doesn't say anything. She doesn't do anything else, which is also understandable. I know she was stressed out. So we check out and they're standing off to the side and they're talking crap the whole time, saying that they're never gonna come here, never again, blah, 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 blah. We pay, the workers like, have a nice day to us. And we're like, you too, we're being nice to her because we know she's stressed out and those people are giving her shit. So we're not gonna give her shit. So the girl in the video goes to the worker and says, so you can be nice to them, but you can't be nice to us. I will say maybe I should have held my tongue a little bit, but also for her to be rude to that worker and she's just doing her job is ridiculous. And I stood up for that worker and I was like, well, maybe if you weren't such a Karen, they'd be nice to you. And I said that as I was walking out of the door, I was going to go on with my day. I wasn't, I was going to leave it at that. And she chases me out to the car and I'm like, you can't touch me. Like I'm a minor. And I didn't even want anything like that. I was literally just standing up for that worker. But you know, it's fine. It's fine. She literally punched my window on my side of the car. Like, she deliberately tried fighting me, said it multiple times to get my ass out of the car so she could beat my ass. And I told her every time, I am a minor. I went back up to the Mexican restaurant later on, and um, they told me that they were drunk and they had at least like three margaritas on their table and the whole time that they were rude from the second they got in there. So you guys can say whatever. You guys can talk the talk. Do whatever you want. You guys were not there, and also, yes, I'm a minor, but still me being a minor, I'm not going to let her treat that worker like that. That worker did not deserve that. At one point, I tried getting out of the car, and my best friend had bought the car already, which was honestly probably for the best. That literally just would have made things ten times worse and bigger than they already needed to be. Like, this didn't even have to be this big already. Anyways, that's what the fuck happened. Keep on making excuses for crazy Karen. Everyone taking her side and standing up for her are the ones that would be doing the same exact thing. So honestly, <laughs> y'all have fun. Honestly, good on her. I will say it's probably best just to keep it to yourself. You don't really want to get involved in other situations, in my opinion. But she would stood up for the girl at the end of the day, and I've served. So some people are scum, and they try to treat servers like they're, like, I don't know, gum beneath their shoes. But this does not justify you approaching anyone, especially when they say they are underage, and you're threatening them with violence. Threatening them with violence, sorry. She's lucky that the girl's mom wasn't there or something, because... We'd have some pretty good content to cover, <laughs> if I'm being honest, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Well, that one was longer than usual, and if you did stick through to the very end, you are a goat. Ah, we did add an extra three, you know, backstories to the video, so. But it's sad only one of the stories actually has some form of consequence to the Karen, but we'll take what we can get. What do you guys think? Was that first Karen's voice the worst thing you've ever heard in the world? Does that second Karen look like Pat and Patty for real? I personally think so, but it may just be some bias. And if anyone finds a follow-up on that third Karen, let me know. I'll cover it. And uh, just leave it in the comments below. Let loose. I want to hear it, guys. I need to head out to find more crazy people. I mean Karens. Take it easy. GB out this bitch. Peace.